Welcome to the ECA uh, Voltman webinar series. Uh, this one is on cable safety and uh, cable selection. Uh, my name is David Thomas and uh, with me is Gary Parker. Uh, we're both from the ECA and we're going to take you through this subject today. Um, we're going to be talking um, about uh, the safety of electrical installations as far as the cables are concerned and uh, cable selection. Um, and so it's just the fundamental part of any installation is the cables. If the cables are installed incorrectly, there's not much hope for anything. Okay. Else. So half of you appear to be electrical contractors. We've got a few consultants and a facilities manager. Um, position the company, so yeah, designer, okay, uh, proprietor mainly. Jeremy Hodge and I'm Chief Executive of BASIC and I'm going to talk today about problem cable and how you can protect your company from the issues associated. The UK market is a very open market for cable and it is very uh, easy for the unwary to fall into the trap of using or procuring uh, unapproved, non-standard, uh, substandard uh, or otherwise questionable cable. Most of the uh, mainstream distributors and wholesalers are reasonably well protected from this problem uh, but there are some channels in the market by which uh, these sort of problem products can get through. So here are a few uh, hints and tips on how to uh, identify a problem cable and how to protect yourself uh, against it. Um, we have had a question about, when we were talking about um, um, the earth loop impedance and RCDs, um, we've got a question to where the 1,667 ohms came from. This comes from um, BS7671 table 41.5 and it will reference up to, uh, for a value of a 30 million RCD, 1,667 ohms as a maximum permissible ZS, dropping down to 100 ohms for a 500 milliamp device. And the equation for that is just a standard ohms law, but using a 50 volt touch voltage figure and the milliamp rating of the RCD itself. Okay, but you can find that in the regulations, uh, just to confirm, on page uh, 57. 57. 